Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Chay Arena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. We live in a day and age where we are so lucky we don't have to worry about sicknesses like we used to. Before, when you got a cough, it would be time to start digging a grave. In the olden times, no one who started coughing ever came out to the other side without being a dead man. But now, when you get sick, you just take some vitamin C and you're back in the office in a couple days. Now, even though we have found a way to beat a lot of these illnesses, there are still a lot of these old sicknesses that are hanging around today, and that's why I'm bringing you today's list of top 10 historical viruses that you can still get today. If any of you at home are looking to improve your quarantine chic, then you should check out the link in the description below and use the offer code MA10 that will give you $5 off the merch store. Of course, the link leads you to the merch store. That's where I'm telling you to go right now. This means you can grab a shirt for 10 bucks, which is a sweet deal. And you're gonna wanna stick around until the end of this video because I'm gonna be doing some more pet shout outs, which you guys love so much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have rabies. I may have mentioned this on another list, but rabies is one of the viruses that I am most afraid of. I keep my distance from wild animals, especially if they're foaming at the mouth and they look like they're gonna eat your whole family for breakfast. It has been something that we have had under control for a long time, but there was a time when this disease was much more deadly. In the 1920s, a vaccine was made and it stemmed the amount of people who would die from rabies, but it didn't cure it. In fact, to this day, if you get bit by an animal who has rabies or the virus works its way into your body somehow, then you're pretty much a goner unless you get a vaccine immediately. If we look back in the history books, there are are less than 10 people on record who have contracted rabies, started showing symptoms, and then lived. Everyone who gets this dies, so don't go near wild animals and don't eat roadkill, and you should be fine, I think, yeah. At number nine, we have dengue fever. There are currently three strains of dengue fever, and only one of them can lead to death, thanks to our amazing medical system. But even if this disease doesn't kill you, it might make you wish you were dead. Another name for dengue fever is broken bone disease, because it literally makes your body ache so bad it feels like your bones are broken. What the hell? No, thank you. Now, how can you catch this horrible virus? Well, it can work its way into your body through a mosquito bite. Why is something so small, something as small as a mosquito, so deadly? It can cause so much suffering. First recorded case of dengue was in the 1950s, and since then it has been running rampant through most of the warm climate areas in the world. The exact numbers are unknown, but estimated cases of dengue are somewhere around 3 million every year. At number eight, we have herpes. People hear herpes and they start running for the hills because everyone thinks of the sexually transmitted disease. But here's the thing, if you've ever had a cold sore, that is herpes. Some people can live with herpes in their nose. Some people can have it inside their mouths and you will never even see it. Now the scary thing is, once herpes is in your body, it's in your body. That's it, there's nothing you can do to get rid of the virus. Now that being said, most people will only have one outbreak of herpes in their entire life and they will never see it again. But if you get the feared sexually transmitted version, then every time you have sex with someone, you legally have to tell them you have it, which obviously can be very embarrassing as there is a huge stigma. But even if you catch it, there's a good chance you will never see signs of it ever in your whole life. First time herpes was discovered was in 1713, but people didn't even know it was a virus until the 1940s. At number seven, we have chicken pox. Nowadays, you get chicken pox and literally no one cares. You get some medicine for it, maybe you take one of those baths with oatmeal and all that kind of stuff, and then it goes away. Oh, and don't scratch it. It's very important you don't scratch. You don't want to leave your body covered in scars that never go away. But it didn't used to be like that. Chicken pox used to be a death sentence. And the first case of chicken pox goes way back. Some people think it could have been popping up in the 1400s. You have to give it to this virus. It really knows how to stick around, but it's not the killer it once was. Actually, a fun fact about the disease is that you want to catch it when you're a kid. Kids don't get really sick and they can shake this off pretty easily. And if you catch it when you're a kid, your body will build up immunity and you should never see it again in your life. There are some rare cases where people have caught chicken pox more than once. At number six, we have hepatitis, a disease that can be transferred through blood or sex. It infects your liver and can cause major health problems from having one of your major organs malfunctioning. And this virus also also goes way back. There were people in Napoleon's army who would suffer from what they called campaign jaundice. This was hepatitis breaking down the body. One of the signs of hepatitis can be jaundice, which is when your skin starts to yellow. Now that we have vaccines and other medication, hepatitis A and B can be cured. And it seems like having hepatitis C for your entire life after you contract it will soon be a thing of the past. At number five, we have the flu. It seems so simple. You get a little sick, maybe you puke, and then you move on. But it's not that simple. The flu has been around for 
for a long time and has been killing people for a long time. The Flu is like the oldest player in the league who always makes it to the top 10 every year. They're never the best player, but never count them out. Because if you do, they will knock you down. It's thought that somewhere around 500,000 people will die from the flu every year. And some strains have been particularly brutal. The Spanish flu in 1918 killed somewhere around 30 to 50 million people. That's no joke. It's one of the largest pandemics of our time. And number four, we have measles. This is one of the oldest known viruses, and it's something that no one has really been talking about for a long time. There have been a few cases that got linked to some compounds where people weren't vaccinating. I'm not here to preach, do whatever you want. I don't care because my immunities are up to date. But if you're not careful, the measles will come for you. The oldest record of measles is somewhere around 900 AD. Will this thing just know when it should leave? We've had enough already. But people think it was around far before that, but they just didn't have the technology to differ it from other illnesses. It used to be a global threat and millions of people were catching it every year, right up until the vaccine was made. Post vaccine, the disease was almost killed off entirely. But as I mentioned before, it will pop up every now and again. At number three, we have yellow fever. Any sort of flu can get you really, really sick, but this one will literally make your skin look yellow. That's where the name comes from, of course. Now, the exact origin of yellow fever is still unknown, but people think it may have come over from Africa. It was possibly brought over on slave ships in the 1500s. The conditions on these ships were so unsanitary and the trips were so long that it could have been a breeding ground for viruses to get stronger and then infect people on board. That's what you get for trading slaves. You're a horrible person and you're gonna get a horrible curse for it. Don't do anything with slaves. Slaves aren't good, they're bad. Okay, I think we get it, we can move on. At number two, we have the common cold. Now you catch a cold and you shake it off. That's it, unless it's COVID-19, of course. That is the most serious cold we have seen in a long time. Now, when it comes to COVID-19 and several other colds, it's not the cold that kills you. It's the weakening of your lungs. Basically, your lungs get into such a fragile state that anything could come in and take them down. That is when you see people get things like pneumonia, and once it gets to that stage, it can be too late. Now, we do have medicines and technology to give you hope or a fighting chance in these situations, but back before we did, when the cold was running wild, it was pretty much a death sentence. Once you caught the cold, it was time to make peace and hope you chose the right religion. And for the number one spot, we have polio. Now, the polio vaccine has almost rid the world of this terrible virus. Places like America have seen this sickness kicked right out of the country, but you can still catch it. And there was a time when this virus was a serious threat. Up until the 1950s, this disease was killing thousands of people every year. And then a vaccine was made and things started to get better. In 1988, a second vaccine was made and it dropped the amount of cases globally by 99%. And polio is seriously scary. It will work its way into your spine and start to affect your motor functions. This will lead to you losing control of lots of your limbs and your lips and your face, eventually leading to you becoming paralyzed. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in in and as promised i'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs remember if you want me to shout out your pet you can hit me up on instagram i pick new pets every day so if you don't get picked one day you can message back another day if it takes me a little while to get back to you i am very sorry i have a lot of these to do i usually pick two message last so just like message again and again that's the easiest way to get picked and without taking any longer let's shout out some pets First off, we have an amazing profile shot of Luna. I bet both sides are her good side. She's got a big old smile and she's not looking at the camera. What a good girl. After that, we have Ozzy who is posing in the best way possible on a bunch of pillows. That's how you stay quarantine comfy, guys. That's very important. Then we have the amazing orange lady, Daisy. This HD shot is showing off her amazing color and her toy that matches her coat. I love it. This amazing animal is very fashion forward. Next, we have the super fluffy Harley, who probably has the best fur in the game. That dog has probably never had a bad hair day. Unless they get wet. When those dogs get wet, they look a little bit strange. And to close it out, we have Bella, who is the cutest little pupper I have ever seen. A sleeping puppy can really make any day better, for sure. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been your host, Jay Dorena, and stay healthy, wash your hands, don't catch any old diseases. Bye. Let's get at it. Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Jay Dorena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. We live, we live in a day and age where we are so lucky we don't have to worry about sicknesses like we used to. Before, when you got a cough, it would be... Before, when you got a cough, it... it before, when you got a cough, it would be better for you to start digging a... Dr Let's maybe crank this up a little bit.
right day and age for it. So, like, we don't have to worry about sicknesses like we used to. Before, if you got a cough, it would be better to start digging a grave 